right? So this is a product that I personally would not sell on. I know that as a beginner, it may be enticing to you to go after these kinds of profits, right? You see a product like this, you think you can make some quick bucks and you go after it, but I promise you, it's not gonna be worth it in the long run. As an online arbitrage beginner, you are going to make mistakes. Even as a seasoned seller five years in, I still make mistakes and I still feel like a noob from time to time. Nobody, trust me, nobody has this all figured out 100%. We all make mistakes. We're all human. Right in today's video, I'm going to show you a mistake that you can avoid, a mistake that I have actually made once or twice in the past. And you already know that on this channel, like we focus on the software, the tools, the data points, how to read the data points, how to put it all together to find profit to sell on Amazon. This video is not really going to have anything to do with that. What I want to do with this video is have you look past those data points because sometimes those data points can be deceiving and can lead you astray and lead you to lose money possibly. All right. So we're looking at this product right here. Vita Fusion Sleep Well Gummy, 60 count, $9.99. So what we can buy it for over at Walmart. Here is a listing that I found to kind of go along with it. Vita Fusion Sleep Well Gummy Vitamins, 60 count. The title is the same. Uh, the picture shows exactly what we're trying to sell, right? The same exact thing. $29.95 is the current buy box on this product. And you can buy it for $9.99. If you did that, boom, $8.97 in profit, 83% return on investment. Now it's exciting, right? You found a product that you can sell. There's a healthy amount of profit in it. There appears to not be too much competition on this product as well. And we can scroll down and look at Keepa and we can see that the pricing is pretty consistent right here and right here. And it does go out of stock. That's kind of weird. Like why would this product ever go out of stock if you could buy it at Walmart and send it in and make a ton of profit on this item. There's something that is wrong with it. If you have eagle eyes, you probably already spotted it, but there can be issues with listings. So it's very important not just to look at the data, not just to look at the profits, but to look at the overall listing to make for certain 100% the product that you're trying to sell matches that listing. So right down here, guys, in the information area, we have this 100 in 80 count. So is this 180 counts? Is it 60 count? Is this a single pack? Is this a three pack? We don't really know. And nothing about the listing indicates this to be a three pack or to be 180 count besides this one little section right here. If we look through at the title, no, nope, nothing there. The picture matches what we're trying to sell right down here. The little about this item section, there's no indication that this is a three pack. If we go through and look at the entire uh, description here from the manufacturer, Again, we don't see anything in the product description about this being a three pack or 180 count. There is simply just this little area right here. When you see little discrepancies like this, it's important to go and dig further into the questions that are being asked on the listing and the reviews that are on that listing. And then you have to decide whether or not you want to take the risk and sell this product. A quick look down here, guys, and it is not good news. There's definitely some confusion on this product. We got customers asking whether or not it's one pack or three pack. If you look at the reviews down here, they're not good either. It's only one bottle inside. I got a third of the product I ordered. It only comes with one bottle, not three. And these are older reviews, older feedback, but let's go and sort by most recent. And you can see that uh, here's one supposed to be three bottles, but only got one total rip off as early as 2021. Right, so this is a product that I personally would not sell on. I know that as a beginner, it may be enticing to you to go after these kinds of profits, right? You see a product like this, you think you can make some quick bucks and you go after it, but I promise you, it's not gonna be worth it in the long run. There's little issues like this that you have to look for on every listing you plan on selling on. Here's another example that we can look at right here. We got Maxwell House Cafe Style beverage mix. The picture says six pack. The title says eight count, right? Is it a six pack or is it an eight count? You have to dig deeper into the listing to make sure. The ultimate point of this video, which I'm sure you've gotten by now, is to make sure to look through that listing to be certain 100% you're selling the actual product on an actual listing that matches. You don't want to get caught up in any of these little issues. Now, we all make mistakes. I've made mistakes like this plenty of times in the past, and you probably will make it too because the little discrepancies aren't always as obvious, but please do your best to look into not only the data points, not only into all those average ROIs, the profits and all that wonderful information that we love, 
but look at the listing, take the time to read the reviews, check out the questions and answers, and make sure you're selling the best product you possibly can to attain the most profit you possibly can. My name is Josh, everydayfba.com is the website, and I'll catch you guys on that next online arbitrage hustle. Peace.